Hi everyone, I am Ray Gaucher and welcome to this edition of Bible Break. The title of this message, Wars and Rumors of Wars. And we're going to be looking at the three different Gospels on what they say about this when Yeshua preached the um, Sermon on the Mount, the Olivet Discourse, and uh, also... Uh, we'll look into a little bit of Revelation. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do this message was because right now, when you go on YouTube or you look on the news anywhere, it's just all about war. Who's got the bigger missiles? Who's got more nuclear bombs? Russia, the US, China, and now, of course, you've got other countries like Iran uh, that are, which formerly was Persia. Um, they're also boasting about their drone uh, arsenal that they have. Just nothing about, uh, nothing but talk about war <clears throat> and about who's got the biggest navy or the army. It's crazy. It really, really is. And I don't think I have ever seen in history so much talk about war. Even I think even at the even at the day you know when when the Cold War was. Uh, what, what, what was at its height? Uh, did we ever hear so much talk? Probably because of, um, you know, you have social media and you have YouTube and the internet and everything. It's now obviously going to be, uh, you're going to be able to see it a lot more. But what's really incredible is that the regular mainstream media is not reporting any of this stuff. You don't see this on, like out here in Canada, you don't see it on CBC, you don't see it on the major news networks out in the US. When major attacks, like for example, uh, not too long ago, um, uh, the war between uh, Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine um, uh, did their own offensive, and I think there was five or six drones that went right into the heart of Russia and hit one of the cities there. I don't know which one it was. I just seen a little bit of video of it, and the people were terrified. Um, but that's not on the news. Why are you only? Why why are we only able to see these things on these little shorts that are on uh, uh, that are on YouTube? And the thing that I find most annoying about the shorts, there's never anything in the description. There is no description to show you. Hey, this is where it originated from. This is when it happened. So and also there's a lot of uh, other people that are putting out videos that are really milking this. I guess I don't know if they're doing it for hits or whatever, but war is big bucks. It really is. And, uh, <clears throat> but you know what? The reason why I'm mentioning this is because there's such a huge um, push for this right now. I mean, the, even Russia's talking about, you know, they, they want to initiate the draft and there's even possible talk about the US doing this again. And um, Canada could be next. Who knows what's going on? But this was all prophesied in the Bible. <clears throat> and some might say, well, you know what? We've been having wars for like a hundred years. I mean, yeah, but look at the way it is right now. You've got Israel with uh, the ring of fire around them, where you've got Hezbollah, you've got uh, Lebanon, you've got the Houthis, you've got... Uh, all of these proxies that are all um, being controlled by Iran, don't, don't let that fool you. Iran is totally controlling these terrorist countries around Israel who want to go after Israel. And it's just a matter of time. Ezekiel 38, 39 tells us about a great war that's going to be happening, or great invasion, uh, and Russia will be a part of that. Um, Russia or Turkey will be a part of that, but it'll be a multi-nation uh, front surrounded by Israel and they will come after Israel but the sad thing is is that these this will all there will be a lot of people that will die through this and probably a lot of Israelis um, but these nations that invade Israel they will be destroyed they will actually turn on each other as what Ezekiel says God will be there to defend Israel because Israel will be alone during that war um, the Bible says that Countries like uh, Saudi Arabia and other surrounding companies are, are countries will be questioning this this invasion. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? But they won't do nothing to defend Israel, is what Scripture says. And um, and then God comes to her rescue. Not even the U.S. Like you would think the U.S. would be there right away to protect um, to protect Israel, but no, they won't be involved. They they will. 
I don't know if this is going to happen because possibly because there's there's lots of talk about Israel uh, sending um, their own little I won't say little but they're the, the nuclear program that Iran has Israel does not like because they know darn well what Iran wants to do with those missile or uh, nuclear weapons that they're building they want Iran wants to use them against um, against Israel and probably the US they call US the big Satan and they call Israel the little Satan so we know what they're doing so no one's gonna deal no no one's gonna deal with this situation because Iran is not making these weapons to say hey look what we got they're planning to use them because the Iranian religion the Muslim religion that they believe um, that they have to create global chaos to bring in their Mahdi their Messiah and they have no problem with creating global chaos. So Israel is thinking, okay, we can only let them. They know what's going on in, in, in Iran. They're not stupid. They know exactly how far they are, how close they are to a weapon. They know. And once they have drawn uh, across that red line, you know that Israel is going to do something about it. And maybe they will go in and take out the nuclear facilities. And... This will cause them to retaliate <clears throat> with Russia, etc., and then they will come against Israel. So, um, it's crazy. It's crazy days we're living in. Really crazy days we're living in. But not do not fear, because the Bible tells us that this was all going to happen. I want to go through the three different Gospels. If this was not important to know, then why was this recorded three times? Matthew, Mark, Luke, Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, the Olivet Discourse, and also in Revelation chapter 6, it mentions this. So let's take a look at it first. Let's look at Matthew 24, uh, I believe it's 6 to 8. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. Don't be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So you'll have people saying, oh, well, if there's a big war, a huge war, maybe a nuclear war, it'll be the destruction of all mankind. No, it's not. According to this, these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Obviously, this is going to be a lot of this is going to be the cause of war. All right, let's go over to Mark 13, verses 7 and 8. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. It's interesting, it's worded a little bit differently, isn't it? For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. These are the beginning of sorrows. Luke 21, verses 9 and 10. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Well, we'll read the next couple of verses. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. I find that interesting. There's going to be earthquakes in places that normally there would not be. And famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Let's look at Revelation chapter 6, where they're opening the seals in this chapter, verse 3 and 4. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given unto him that sat therein to take peace from the earth, war, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. War can be a very, very scary thing. Absolutely. But God allows it. And it, just my opinion, I do believe God allows this because it's another way of, uh, of judgment on the earth um, to judge these nations that are going against the Lord, that are blaspheming the Lord. And it's also another way of reading evil from the earth. 
So friends, I just wanted to do a brief Bible break to just to share with you that this is all prophesied. This is all in the Bible. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared about the wars that are coming. Pray for peace. Absolutely. But do know that these things all must come to pass before the return of Christ. So I know this was a really brief Bible break. I do invite you to read the three different chapters. Uh, Matthew 24, Luke 13, or should I, should I sorry, Mark 13, uh, Luke 21, and of course, uh, the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation is a wonderful book because whoever reads it, it says, will be blessed. You will receive special blessings. Some people don't want to read the book of Revelation. It's too confusing. But there's blessings you're missing out on. The Bible says clearly those who read the book of Revelation will receive a special blessing. Don't miss out on that. All right, friends, until next time, blessings in the name of Yeshua. Bye for now.